A Sarkari quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with two equal sides perpendicular to the base. It is named after Giovanni Gerolamo Sarkari, who used it extensively in his book Euclides ab omni nivo vindicatus first published in 1733. An attempt to prove the parallel postulate using the method reductio ad absurdum. The first known consideration of the Sarkari quadrilateral was by Omar Khayyam in the late 11th century, and it may occasionally be referred to as the Khayyam Sarkari quadrilateral. For a Sarkari quadrilateral ABCD, the sides AD and BC are equal in length and perpendicular to the base AB. The top CD is the summit or upper base, and the angles at C and D are called the summit angles. The advantage of using Sarkari quadrilaterals when considering the parallel postulate is that they place the mutually exclusive options in very clear terms. Are the summit angles right angles, obtuse angles, or acute angles? As it turns out, when the summit angles are right angles, the existence of this quadrilateral is equivalent to the statement expounded by Euclid's fifth postulate. When the summit angles are acute, this quadrilateral leads to hyperbolic geometry, and, when the summit angles are obtuse, the quadrilateral leads to elliptical or spherical geometry. Sakari himself, however, thought that both the obtuse and acute cases could be shown to be contradictory. He did show that the obtuse case was contradictory, but failed to properly handle the acute case. History Sakari quadrilaterals were first considered by Omar Khayyam in the late 11th century in Book 1 of Explanations of the Difficulties in the Postulates of Euclid. Unlike many commentators on Euclid before and after him, Khayyam was not trying to prove the parallel postulate as such but to derive it from an equivalent postulate he formulated from the principles of the philosopher. Two convergent straight lines intersect and it is impossible for two convergent straight lines to diverge in the direction in which they converge. Khayyam then considered the three cases right, obtuse, and acute that the summit angles of a Sarkari quadrilateral can take in after proving a number of theorems about them. He refuted the obtuse and acute cases based on his postulate and hence derived the classic postulate of Euclid. It was not until 600 years later that Giordano Vitale made an advance on Khayyam in his book Euclidi Restitua, when he used the quadrilateral to prove that if three points are equidistant on the base AB and the summit CD, then AB and CD are everywhere equidistant. Sakari himself based the whole of his long, heroic, and ultimately flawed proof of the parallel postulate around the quadrilateral and its three cases, proving many theorems about its properties along the way. Sakari quadrilaterals in hyperbolic geometry. Let ABCD be a Sakari quadrilateral having AB as base, CA and DB the equal sides that are perpendicular to the base and CD the summit. The following properties are valid in any Sarkari quadrilateral in hyperbolic geometry. The summit angles are equal and acute. The summit is longer than the base. The line segment joining the midpoint of the base and the midpoint of the summit is mutually perpendicular to the base and summit. The line segment joining the midpoints of the sides is not perpendicular to either side. The above two line segments are perpendicular to each other. Two Sakari quadrilaterals with congruent bases and congruent summit angles are congruent. Two Sakari quadrilaterals with congruent summits and congruent summit angles are congruent. Equations in the hyperbolic plane of constant curvature. The summit of a Sarkari quadrilateral can be calculated from the leg and the base using the formula tilings in the Poincaré dusk model tilings if the Poincaré dusk model of the hyperbolic plane exist having Sarkari quadrilaterals as fundamental domains. Besides the two right angles, these quadrilaterals have a acute summit angles. The tilings exhibit a asterisk NN22 symmetry and include 